Uh, how do I find the value of a commercial property? This is a phenomenal question. You know, when you're valuing residential property, it's a lot easier because there, you know, typically there are a lot, a lot of comparables, comparable properties that have sold. So when you have a subdivision, you might be one house in a subdivision of a hundred houses. They're all generally the same, built at the same time, around the same size, same bedroom bath mix, same features, obviously same use, all used as a house. And you usually have sales within the last year or six months in that subdivision of that similar property that you can use the collection of those sales to determine the value of your home. Very easy, right? So commercial property, not the same. You will have a lot of different buildings that are next to each other. They vary in all different types of ways in terms of functionality. Maybe one building has higher, you know, if it's a warehouse, it has higher ceiling height than the other. Maybe it varies greatly in terms of size. Maybe it varies greatly in terms of location, visibility, all these different things come into play when you're doing the valuation. So that's where appraisers, commercial appraisers and brokers really earn their money is by appropriately pricing your commercial property. So the way to do it, essentially, if you're out there, you're not a commercial appraiser or a real estate agent trying to value it on your own, it's possible. You just gotta look at, hey, what has the properties that are similar to yours sold for? And then judging by that, that's generally speaking a good way to value your property. Now to take all of those uh, sales, it becomes like an art because you're adjusting for so many factors. Uh, like we said, visibility, access, the list goes on. And so that's where someone who has a lot of experience selling that certain property type in that certain area can really add a ton of value by being able to put a great value on your property.